Today we'll go over quickly how to change a Boston 18 pencil sharpener gear with an aftermarket one that was 3D printed. There's a number of aftermarket 3D printed gears that are available, such as this one is the one that's currently available on Thingiverse. Uh, some of the problems I noticed with it right away were that you had to basically follow out this hole here in order to get the fit properly on the shaft inside the pencil sharpener, which was very annoying. If you look at the original gear that comes with these, you also see that it's countersunk right here which the one on Thingiverse is not. And that becomes relevant once we start to put it together. So let's get into it. The first couple of things you're gonna need are a Phillips head screwdriver, a regular screwdriver, and a quarter inch socket. By taking the three screws out of the bottom, or Phillips head screws, you simply unscrew them and pop them out. And as you can see, I'm missing one. Once that's complete, make sure that the pencil sharpener is unplugged, which in this case it is. Here's the end of it. And take the assembly out. Now that the assembly is out, you can see that you have basically two quarter inch screws here that you need to remove. Take your socket. And unscrew those two screws. Once those two screws are unscrewed, you'll be able to disassemble the entire assembly at this point and put in the new gear. It's a pretty easy fix for an older pencil sharpener. It was a classic from when we were all kids. Now you'll see I placed a pencil marked X on this side in order for me to understand which way the motor is facing. This is important. You don't want to be facing the wrong way. Take the assembly off. It simply slides off like that. This is the inner side of the motor. Just pull it out. Comes out nice and easy. And then for removal of the gear, simply take a Phillip or a standard head screwdriver and place it behind where the gear is. And in this case, you can see I'm going to reach down in there and simply turn my screwdriver. By turning my screwdriver, it applies pressure on it and forces it off the shaft. That's removed. This is the standard gear that would come with it, and this is the gear that you would order from the manufacturer. And when you put it on, you'll hear it click. That lets you know that it's securely on there. The problem with the ones that are made aftermarket, they don't click. I'll give you an example of that. Here's the one that I had to grind out, and it was a little annoying. Press it on there, and you get it on the best you can, and it pushes on. The problem being is, is that there is a little bit of space left that allows this gear to wobble. Quite annoying. However, the gear that I made to take care of this no longer wobbles. And as you can see, this one doesn't turn true like it should. Same process, reach in there, take the screwdriver, pop it out. Once it comes out, set off the side and pick up one of the ones that I made. As you can see, this is one of the ones I made. It actually looks identical to the one that the manufacturer made. Same amount of offset in there. And you'll also notice that when I place this on the shaft, it too will click. Press it on, and it makes a little clicking noise. This lets you know that it's in place and it's ready to go. There's no filing, no fitting, you just press it on. Again, one more time, you can hear it pop on. This is important because you don't want to spend a bunch of time making any repairs. And that is a gear that pops on. When we reassemble the whole thing, you'll simply place the shaft back in like this. You'll see that it turns nicely. You don't want this to be stiff in any place. You just want it to turn nicely and that way you know it will sharpen correctly. Putting the motor assembly back on, make sure that the X is facing out. Then place this piece back on here, as such. And then tighten it down with your socket wrench.
once everything's back together, you can see it's put together. I'll plug it in. We'll let you take a look at it. And you can see how it actually runs. When I'm holding it while I'm plugging in, I'm actually going to grab it by the plastic frame and not by the coil back here. That's just to prevent any electrical injury that may or may not occur. Once that's done, I'll grab one of these pencils I have, one of the ones that my kids has, a nice sparkly one here, and we'll simply place it in. You can hear it. Now, the other thing you'll notice, too, is that this one runs nice and true. I'll let you watch the gear here as it's actually in the system. And that's pretty much it. Pencil sharpening. In order to reassemble the whole thing, take your housing, place it back in. You want the wire nuts towards the top. That way they're not underneath, preventing the motor from sitting in all the way. Drop it in, place them off the side, secure the wire assembly in there as such. Place the cover back on and tighten it down. And once you've done that, you've completed it. You've repaired your Boston 18 pencil sharpener. Sometimes you just want things to work.